Hello and welcome back to another Star Sector Waifu's UAF Carriers Only Let's Play. Last episode, we fought a high value bounty, a crazy difficult fight against ECM based ships, phase cruisers that could just blow up our fighters, and it was probably the craziest fight we've had so far in this playthrough. And it netted us a wonderful 500,000 credits. Now, we have another bounty. As you can see, we're about to dive straight in. And we need to get more money and get back on over to Xi'an to better prepare and protect our fleets. If you do like this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to check me out on Twitch in the description below. Now, let's dive straight into the action and see some big guns and lots of fighters. Move into engage. Continue. In this situation, I think we are going to bring in everything. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Autopilot engaged, zoom out. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Seeing the fleet come in and all of the fighters launch is so stunningly gorgeous. Ah, it makes me so, so happy. It really does. It really does. Um, oh, oh, oh. Let's go ahead and get this captured. Get it captured. No, oh, you're letting it run out. There we go. And we've got some signals. Honestly, I'm just going to let these guys go full hog forwards. I'm just gonna let these guys go full hog forwards, and uh, we can just we can just enjoy watching the enemy ships go boom. Oh, they got a phase ship over here. Blooming phase ships. Hate them. Hate them for the passion. Even though we counter them with fighters, even though we counter them, I hate them. It's low. Oh, that's a bad semi breathe. Yikes. Yikes. Lots and lots of destruction. It's beautiful to see. There goes that Colossus. There's a camel over here. It's about to die. There it goes. Condor, sorry, not camel. Condor. Um, and... There goes that Colossus as well. Ah, oh, it's just... It's just so beautiful to watch. It's so stunningly gorgeous. I love it. I love it. We'll, we'll, let, we'll let the fuel tanker... No, we won't. That's you. <laughs> you thought you were getting away? Nah. Stick through the wreckage. Take it all. Lovely. Double dip. Always double dip. I oh, don't want to recover. No. Apparently, I've been saying double dip so much that people are buying dip snacks just because I'm making them want to. And I'm just so proud of myself and of you who are buying dip snacks because go get that, Joy. <laughs> um, right. Let us head now all the way. Uh, that's a good question, actually. That's a good question. We have a lot of we have a lot of crap on us. We have a lot of crap on us uh, that we could offload back at the. Um, yeah, you know what we are. We've got we've got almost a million we're coming up on a million credits. We're gonna head back to New Auroria, uh, and we're gonna do one more stop off before we leave. To head up to uh, Xion, Xian even, um, for a, for an extended period. We are back at New Auroria. We're going to drop off these ship components. We're going to drop off these metals, these organics, these volatiles. Uh, we're going to drop off all of these weapons because they are not our weapons. They're not UAF blueprints. No, oh, they are not. We're going to hold on to that blueprint, though. Um, 
I wonder actually we should pick up these we should pick these blueprints back up that I sold before uh, to go give to the prism freeport honestly that's a forge template I don't think that can be traded in to the prism station but we can pick up these blueprints that's gonna cost us a ton but I think it's worth doing I think it's honestly worth doing is picking all of these back up from when we sold them before and going and trading them in at the prism freeport I do genuinely think that's the smart thing to do if I'm not doing the smart thing then you can continue to scream at your monitors and I do apologize <laughs> prisoner actions collect a ransom and another one. Um, go to the com directory. Ocean. Got an AI call for you. Cheers, sweetheart. Lovely. Then we need to grab fuel. Grab some more crew. And... More supplies. There we go. That'll do. Lovely. Let's head to Prism. I'll see you there. Uh, not before we level up, though. We have indeed leveled up. And I think what we're going to do is this. Officer training. Plus one maximum level uh, of officers under your command. Plus one maximum number of elite skills for officers under your command. Plus two command points and plus one maximum operatives. Boom. That's going to benefit us huge. In fact, we might... I don't know whether we're going to be able to immediately just... Uh, level up our officers. They are going to need to get XP first. No worries. No problem. See you at Prism. Okay, here we are arriving at Prism. We are going to... Uh, repair. We're going to speak to the Portmaster. We're going to exchange blueprints. We're going to trade in blueprints. We're going to trade in all of this. For a wonderful 14,485 points. And then we're going to purchase blueprints. See what they've got. Zelina Grad Research Platform. That's a battleship. Damn. The Vic Oriax Battlecruiser. Damn. St. Helena Salvage Cruiser. So unfortunately, nothing for us this time around. It's good to know that they've got some juicy stuff popping up, you know? It's good to know they've got some juicy stuff popping up. Let's have a look what they have for a sale here. Is that a 10,000 range torpedo? That is a straight up 10,000 range torpedo. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> a fusion bomb barrage? Damn. Damn. There are some there are some weapons here. <laughs> There's some, I wonder what ships they have for sale. Oh wow. Onslaught? Maelstrom? Got some herons? Fair enough. On the black market? Okay, apparently down in Epsilon Jodorowsky, there is a Dyson Shell World? I don't know exactly what that means, but I'm something to keep in mind for the future. Uh, if you're uh, you commenters, next time I'm like, where was that Dyson Shell World? It's in Epsilon Jodorowsky. <laughs> and we are home in Xi'an or outside Xi'an, and we actually have some we have some ships. We have some of our very own ships. 10 stability now. That's huge and fantastic. And everything has been built. Everything has been built. Where our income is increasing, as I imagine we are now exporting uh, food. We're now... We're, we're making four. We need three, so we're actually exporting a unit of food every month, which is nice. 
we are going to need to get money which we got a lot of and then lost a lot of and used a lot of and we don't have and by the time we got back we we had no money <laughs> uh which sounds about right um it sounds about right uh interesting 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 we're now up at 96 percent access which is good which is very good our defenses are slowly increasing our fleets uh we're dealing with some cross-faction imports uh which is uh slightly unfortunate but uh it's fine it's fine farming is uh it's going okay it's going okay you know we've only got adequate farmland so wasn't expecting anything too crazy i'm gonna go ahead and drop off some of these bits and pieces and we've got we've got people and we've got food available to us now which is awesome it is very cool because I say because we are going to see if we can hunt ourselves down an alpha ai core or two for our colony and where are we going to go to do that well we're going to go to a place that we are petrified of after a prior terrible experience yes indeed we are heading to a warning beacon oh yes we are heading towards a warning beacon high danger jump in let's go let's go they have fleets everywhere and this is the perfect chance for us to get ai cores this is the perfect chance for us to get AI, AI cores. Let's go. Moving to engage. Continue. All. Go. Let's do this. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Oh, look at all those ships. Look at all those beautiful ships. The carriers. The fighters. It's exquisite. Mirai, get Alpha. Avenger, get Gamma. This is stunning oh nice we got coffee there um yeah drone ships lots and lots of drone ships which means they generally have high amounts of strength but no shields i believe is normally the norm uh this one is teleporting fighters are going to intercept This one does have shields. No, it does actually have shields. And it's teleporting. Wow. Okay. But it's gone. It's gone. Excellent. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Uh, now, Astari. I know you're aggressive. But that is probably too aggressive. My love. Probably too aggressive. I mean, it looks like you're not being punished for it. But uh, I'm a little nervous about you being that far up. <laughs> For sure. For sure. And you are ahead of the picket line. You are significantly ahead of the picket line. And you're going further forwards. You're going deeper. Astari. <laughs> you have been a wonderful ship to us. Oh. Nothing. I don't think that nuke really hit anything. Unlucky. The raffles your scores a kill. The raffles your scores a kill. That's exquisite to witness. Love seeing the raffles your score a kill. Their battleship shields shrugging off the uh, the Suarez rockets like they're nothing. Like they're absolutely nothing. That's incredible. Very well fortified. Very well fortified. An incredible amount of flux dissipation. But soon it will be the only ship left. And at that point, nothing will be able to save it. Nothing will be able to save it. The sheer amount of everything being launched towards this battleship. Soon. All of the ships are going to converge. In fact, I'm going to give the order for all the ships to converge. Converge 
on their battleship. Converge on it. Slaughter it. <laughs> yes, that's what I want to see. Overwhelm it from every angle. It just teleported. And three times. A battleship that can teleport? That's exquisite. That is exquisite. There it goes. There it goes. You should run, drone ship. You should run. I wonder how many cores we're going to salvage from this. I wonder how many cores we're going to salvage from this. I'm hoping for a 1A. I'm hoping for one alpha. I'm hoping for one alpha, but we'll see. Pick through that wreckage. <sighs> Only a gamma. Only a gamma. That's unfortunate. We will take all. We will immediately... Double dip. We will immediately dive straight into combat with this next fleet. Um, which may be even harder. But that's okay. We've got this. We've got this. Avenger, grab Alpha. Mirai, grab Gamma. We have to play aggressively here because if we wait... Then they're going to group up and they're going to overwhelm us with numbers. So we have to play aggressive even if it's not good for our CR. Even if it's not good for our CR, we have to play aggressive here. Otherwise, they're going to overwhelm us. We're going to lose the whole fleet. Which, whilst we're in a position to come back from, we definitely could come back from losing the whole fleet. It's, I don't want to. You know, nobody wants that. <laughs> Lovely. Let's go ahead and get rid of that assignment. Death to the drone ships. Death to the drone ships. Magnificent. Absolutely stunning. Astari is always at the front. The Astari always, 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 always at the front. <laughs> Nukes! I never turned autopilot on. The Nuke Zori has just literally just been gliding up into the front lines. Oh no! I never turned autopilot on! I don't think we're being punished for it though. I think luckily, I think we're, we're okay. There goes the semi brief. Oh no! It just went off right in front of. Oh, Nuke Zoria. That is not good. That is not good. Oh, be careful when you fire your semi briefs. Please. Please. Okay. We're doing okay, though. We're doing okay. All of those missiles hitting. Beautiful. Stunning. Exquisite. Astari is just PDing down those fighters. It's lovely to see. It's lovely to see. Absolutely delicious to see. Nuke Zoria has made its way all the way down here now. These two ships should be done. There's one. Here comes the second. Done. Soon. Finished. There we go. Lovely. This one. Oh, this one. End it. Rightly. Pull a Scalagrim and throw your pommel at it. Even though spaceships don't have pummels. What would be the what would be the, the, the star sector equivalent of ending someone rightly? That's a question. Maybe maybe leave maybe leave a comment and tell me what the star sector equivalent of ending someone rightly would be. If you're not familiar with ending someone rightly, then I highly recommend you uh, you search you search YouTube for ending someone rightly. You will get many videos, but but go look at Skylagrims. Uh, as it is very entertainingly funny. 
Um, and a great meme. A great meme. And that is victory. That right there is victory. We did take some beating there. Combat readiness on the Isonoria, on the Custodian, is kind of rough. Combat readiness is just kind of dropping on our battleships, um, which is a little rough. Um, the Yukamaru is kind of okay, but... Um, we've got a beta and two gammas. Still no alpha. Still no alpha. We'll take hardened shields, though. That's a huge find. Hardened shields mod spec is a huge, 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 huge find. Okay. Immediately being engaged again. This one shouldn't be too bad. We're going to go ahead and spend a story point to perform a uh, limited... Uh, it's only going to affect the, the custodian here. I think we're going to do it anyway. Moving to engage. Let's go. I think we do it anyway. I think it's important to do it anyway. Make sure autopilot's on this time. Mirai, grab alpha... Avenger, grab Gamma. Let's go. Everyone launch your fighters. Oh, it's so stunning to watch. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. More drone ships. We have... We have... Sh we have clearly shown we are currently capable very much of dealing with these ships. As long as the Nuke Zoria doesn't nuke themselves again. Uh, the Aurora Redemptio decided to fire a semi-brief that went off right in its face without its shields up. That was rough. That was certainly rough. Um, their first their first little ship has come forwards. It's about to be absolutely mullered by fighters. There it goes. <laughs> the the Kardashevian? Almost a Kardashian. It's almost a Kardashian. Um, that ass, though. That ass. Um... On the starship, of course. Oh, where was your head? Um, <laughs> we've got multiple ships off to the right here that have been kind of ignored because the fighters want to fight the phase ship. And honestly, damn straight. Damn straight. Uh, these are definitely my fighters. Going for the phase ship, hunting it down. Yeah, they're definitely my fighters. A hundred percent. I'm proud of my fighter pilots. <laughs> We got a lot of shots. The raffles here. The raffles just going hunting. Raffles just going hunting right here. Oh. Kaboom. Good kill, raffles here. Good kill, sweetheart. Now get safely home. Beautiful. 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 Absolutely stunning. Absolutely wonderful. This is combat after combat after combat, but it's so worth the spectacle. The spectacle of it all. Excellently done, everybody. Excellently done. Pick through that wreckage. RCR is really dropping now. RCR is really dropping. Take all. Um, let's have a look. What have we got? Two battleships, one in each of those fleets. Do we, do we, do we make an emergency burn? I think we make an emergency burn. Woo! We out of there. We out. Damn. Okay. We can sit here for a while, repair up. Uh, get our combat readiness up as well. I have got another level up. Wow, that's a very quick second level up. Um... I think uh, helmsmanship, non-elite helmsmanship, damage control, and combat endurance on all ships without officers is actually a huge, um, a huge, 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 huge ability. Uh, but also being able to build one more permanent hull mod into the ships is a massive thing as well. Actually, so that's huge. Yeah, that's that's absolutely massive, massive. Yeah, no, we definitely, we definitely. We're definitely going to go with best of the best. An additional hull mod is just going to make a huge difference and make every one of my ships more powerful, um, which I love. I love that. I love that. 
Uh, now, how are we doing? Supplies, 69 supplies a day at the moment. Um, from repairs and CR recovery. That's okay. We kind of knew that was going to be happening. Because we just went three back-to-back -back fights. Uh, we did, so, like, if we took, you know, we got... 126 relic components. We got a whole bunch of ship components. We got five gamma cores. We got two beta cores. Uh, we got a huge mod with the hardened shields. Really happy about hardened shields. Uh, we picked up some LPCs as well. Some 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 remnant LPCs. A uh, load of weapons, which you know I'm not entirely sure how worth a lot of these weapons are, but still it's nice to get. Two thousand metals. Uh, we got some transmutonics as well. Um, so honestly, not too bad so far, but really we're here for AI cores. We're here for alpha AI cores. That's what we are trying to get. Um, so we're going to get our combat readiness back up. We're going to jump back in and we're going to clear out some more of the uh, more of the fleets and see if we can get some alpha AI cores. Okay, we're going back in. We're going back in. Immediately picking a fight. This is a big fight. Okay, this is a big fight. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big fight. That's a big fight. Everything? Yes. Mirai, Alpha, Avenger, Gamma. Get rid of that. Go, go, go. Autopilot on. Everything's repaired. Everything's CR is up. Everyone's at 100% fighters. Let's do this. Another big, big battle. This time, they do have a battleship again. Fingers crossed that battleship means we get another Alpha AI core. That would be huge. That would be important. And that would be wonderful. But we will see. We will see. We are going to see, 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 see. We have plus 13% top speed right now on our ships. We also have uh, minus 10% weapon range based on ECM ratings. They are off to the left and up in front of us. Here comes an Alpha Strike. Get that ship dead before it can do anything. That's it. Nice. And now transfer. 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 They're coming down the left-hand side. We should eliminate the flanker ASAP and then not worry about it. We can go ahead and get rid of that assignment. We'll hold on to that assignment right now. Just to like use that as the anchor of the bottom left-hand side of our picket. They are grouped up. Interesting. I wonder whether they're starting to adopt anti-carrier tactics. Because this is how you anti-carrier, by the way. It's not how you anti-semi-breathe, but it's how you anti-carrier. Um, it's absolutely not how you anti-semi-breathe. And so I'm going to fire a semi-breathe right up into the middle of that. And hope it doesn't hit uh, anything friendly. Oh! Oh! There it goes! Boom! <laughs> Lovely. It wasn't the most exquisite semi-breathe explosion, but I tell you what, it did the trick. It took a ship. It sent them a little bit haywire. You know, they were going kind of all over the place. That is worthy enough of a semi-breathe shot in my mind. For sure. For sure. Now, fighters, that's it. Focus on these overloaded ships. Finish them off. Excellent work. Excellent, excellent work. Wrap around. Kill this one. That's it. Excellent. It's flaming out. Just finish it off. Marvelous. Gorgeous. Load on in. Just keep slotting in. Sliding through. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that assignment now. That's fine. That assignment can go. Because uh, they are pushing too heavily. And I don't want to lose a ship just from trying to hold on to that point too much. This ship looks like it's about to get overloaded and it's going to have way too much fire coming down on it. It's going to go. There it goes. Nice. Their battleship shields are still very, very powerful. So we need to focus on the rest of their fleet right now so that we are going to be able to focus fire them down. Um, but otherwise, we're doing pretty well. Uh, hopefully, we're actually going to start capping this very soon with the Nuxoria, maybe. Yeah, there, there it starts to go. Nuxoria, stay in the area. Beautiful. Beautiful. It looks like we're putting a lot of focus fire on the battleship right now. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough. The flux seems to be sort of holding steady. And in fact, uh, yeah, our fighters are our fighters are kind of mo moving moving back and reloading and the like. We have gone ahead and taken this. That's huge. That is huge. 
This ship is definitely out of position right now. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a... Oh, my goodness, Mirai. You're in a dangerous spot right now, but it looks like you're okay. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a better look on their fleet right now. The battleship is going aggro on the, the Astari. Oh, sorry, that's the Jotun even. Yo, so get out of there. Oh, no, that was the Astari. We lost the Astari to a very aggressive move by the battleship. An incredibly aggressive move by the battleship. Took out the Astari. Astari, please. That is... We can't be losing you like that, my love. We can't be losing you like that. It's okay, though. We're melting them down. We're melting them down. The battleship. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. With the battleship down, the battle is well and truly a victory. Even though we did lose the Astari, but, you know, the Astari knows what she's doing. When she's, when she's playing, when she's playing in their faces, she knows that, you know, sometimes they're going to bite. Sometimes they're going to snap. You put your fingers in the, you put the fingers in the crocodile's mouth and sometimes the crocodile's going to close that mouth of his. It's just the way it goes. It's just the way it goes. Let's uh, let's bring you back from the from the wrecks, from the wreckage, Astari. Yes, indeed. A beta core only again. Ah, oh, how gutting! How gutting! Go ahead and salvage. That is that is truly gutting, actually. Uh, that is truly gutting. It's really old. Oh, there's big fleets incoming. We need to go aggressive. We go aggressive and take out this fleet. That fleet is huge. That fleet is huge, huge. Um. Okay. I think um, we deploy all, but except when we're keeping the Astari out, this one. Just because the Astari's on half hull integrity, low combat readiness. Um, I just don't, I don't, yeah. I don't want to just instantly lose the Astari again um, straight away. <laughs> Let's go ahead and send you guys forwards. Autopilot enabled. Magnificent. This is uh, just a, a lot of combat, this episode. Um... <laughs> I hope you guys hope you guys enjoy me just blowing up drones because uh, that's what the most of this episode has been as much as I've enjoyed it I'm enjoying blowing up drones I love blowing up drones you know hunks of metal you don't have to feel like morally like you know oh I've just killed loads of people or anything like that because no, they're, they're drones they're just drones you can you can make them go boom and you don't have to worry about it I love it Oh, there's a semi-breathe already. I don't... Did that actually hit anything? Did that... Was that a... Was that just a, a terrible semi-breathe? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. But we are getting into the heart of their fleet right now. Absolutely mullering their ships. Oh. He might get away. He might... He, oh. Oh. Oh, it might. It might. Lovely. Lovely. Look at all those missiles flying. It's so gorgeous to see all the fighters flying and the missiles flying. And my goodness. It is exquisite. It is stunning and beautiful and wonderful. Now we've been adding a lot more of those Sparus missiles as well. Like, you just see, like, these just, like, long, just, like, streams of missiles flying out of ships everywhere. Look at them. Look at them go. Oh, it's stunning. It's gorgeous. I love it. I love seeing it. I love seeing it. It's great. Here comes another big fighter strike. Another big fighter strike. That ship is, oh, actually handling itself pretty well. Actually handing itself pretty well. But here comes a Suarez strike as well. And those Suarez missiles have managed to overload its flux. The fighters are doing lots of armor damage. Its armor is starting to melt. And there it goes. 
There it goes. See you later. Absolutely stunning performance. You love to see it. You love to see it. We've got another fighter strike coming in here. Where are they heading? Right here. There it goes. Ready? Car. Boom. Magnificent. This battle, I think, is pretty much in the bag. Um, I do not foresee any issues wrapping this battle up at all. Let's see. The Isonoria are being very aggressive. The Isonoria is like, well, the Astari's not here, so I'll take the Astari's job and get right up in the front. <laughs> Isonoria is a prototype support carrier, and it's like, nah, I'm a, I'm, I'm a tank. <laughs> I get up in their faces. Like, oh, I'm not entirely sure about that, Isonoria, but you know, if you must, if you must. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely exquisite. Absolutely wonderful. Ooh, that was a nice explosion. That looked that was a pretty looking explosion. I think you're the last I think you're the last ship. Buddy. See you later. Farewell. Good night. <laughs> and Alpha Core! There it is. There it is. We've got ourselves an Alpha Core. Now we need to get out because that is a big fleet and as much as i would happily fight that fleet normally uh we're crew under strength we're cr down um we got to get out of here so i'm emergency burning and we're getting out of here We did it though. We we went for an alpha core. We got an alpha core. We went for an alpha core. We got an alpha core. I am proud of us. Just a random heavy frigate. Uh, some crew. Oh, lovely. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. We're back in our home system of Alpha Maculates. We are about to arrive back at Sheehan. There's a smuggler loading food. Really? You're smuggling food? Curious. Curious. But we're going to go to our colony info. We are going to go to our administrator. And we are going to give it. Ah, yes. An alpha core. Magnificent. It has industrial planning just like we do. But it also has hypercognition. Plus 10% accessibility. Plus 20% fleet size. Plus 50% effectiveness of ground front defenses. And plus one stability. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. We'll go ahead and finish. Wonderful. Exquisite. Now admittedly our stability can't get over 10 but still. Still. I, I don't think you can get over 10. Um, our accessibility has gone up. It's now over 100%, which is huge. Um, our growth is at 6.67%. We have grown a significant amount. We're now at 61%. We're closing in on that size 4 population, which is going to be huge. Um, in terms of finances, we have 200,000 credits to our name. And I was thinking that perhaps we might want to build something. And what we build is a curious decision indeed. But I feel like a way station might be absolutely exquisite. One, it increases our accessibility. That's great. Two, it means that we're going to start stockpiling fuel and supplies uh, so that I won't run out because we're so far away from the core. Um, and I like that idea. We don't need the stability that comes from ground defenses right now. Though we will want the ground defense strength later on. Requisition center is a... Um, creates a market selling weapons from factions you have good relationship with. An embassy with an active ambassador on the same planet will cause the center to only source from that, to source only from that faction. 
So that's interesting. Um, I wonder whether we want to hire a UAF ambassador so that we can requisition UAF things here. But it says weapons. It doesn't say ships. So I'm a bit confused. Because we... We want UAF ships. We want UAF ships. Is what we want. Is what we want. In terms of what, what's our next industry here going to be? What is our next industry here going to be? Hmm. The scattered ruins. So we could do tech mining. We could do te tech mining. For now, we're going to build a way station. For now, we are going to build a way station. And that is going to be the end of this episode. If you have liked this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to uh, check me out on Twitch in the description below. But otherwise, I'll see you next time. Stay safe in the stars. Farewell.